are starting our journey at Yangsan Station where we're taking an ITX train to Gapyeong. So we're just waiting on that train now. Super easy. We took a train to Gapyeong, which took about an hour, and now we're grabbing a taxi to the ferry terminal. Yeah. Is it already Sorry off to a good my life. Is this already off to a good start? I mean, I love a little 1D. That taxi was like a minute. It is starting to rain, so it's not the ideal weather for the island. However, this it's a lot going on. It's like I guess Nami Island is like a really popular place to come when the leaves change, and I think in the spring. Um, so you can tell by the size of this parking lot that it's very popular at other times of the year. There's tons of that galbi. I don't know if it's like a famous thing you eat before you go to Nami Island. It's making me hungry. Also, I've never been somewhere where you can zip line as like a mode of transportation to the island. We have a toddler, so we won't be doing that. Although somebody on Instagram said one of us should, and they're probably right, but not today. What, what we should do. Do you want a zip line? And I'll oh, take I wanna, the ferry? I want to put Hayes on the zip line. Oh. <laughs> Send him over. I think we get a stamp on our passport here. Which I'm realizing, as usual, I'm like woefully unprepared to talk about this. Maybe, th maybe they'll tell us when we get there, but like, it's like this whole shtick where you have to like go through immigration because there are like, their own republic? This is the republic of... Nami Mara. Nari, Nani, Nani, Nami, Nami Mara. Nami Mara. How do they have their flag? I mean, you can have By the way, a big thank you to Nami Island for hosting us on this trip. We really wanted to come here when we were in Seoul last time, and a lot of people recommended it, including Bethany, who has sent us so many recommendations for this second visit to Korea. So. We're super excited we can make it out this time. Oh, up the path. This is so cute, and also we timed this, I mean, I'm sure it's timed with the trains, but we just like walked through and straight on. I think this ferry ride takes all of like two minutes. lunch. We got off the ferry, we met two lovely women that work at Nami Island to help us show around and take our bags to the hotel to be stored and instantly Hayes was just so excited to be here. We've been in Seoul for over a week now. We love cities but like I think he just saw like wide open spaces and went crazy and was running all over. Um, they've got ostriches on this island that we haven't seen yet but the second we got in the car he was like already looking for them. It's not raining that much, so I think it's going to be fine, and it's it's just beautiful here. So now we're at lunch at a traditional Korean restaurant where we are having uh, bulgogi and I forgot how to say the seafood pancake and acorn jelly salad, which I believe is called dutori mukmuchim. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but um, it's a dish we haven't tried here, and they recommended it. Mm. Very similar to tofu. We get the uh, oaky, acorny type flavor. A bit of like a kimchi type sauce on it as well. It's very good. I like it. It's really very, very similar to tofu. It's good. So that's the quick update. I think after lunch we'll continue exploring the island a little bit. And then at 3 o'clock, no, 4 o'clock, doesn't matter, we are meeting them at the Hay School, which is like a Finnish educational experience. Oh my god, there's more food. I'll show you. 
show you that later. The thing I love about Korea is they often give you little children's sets and it's so accommodating. And as soon as we sat down, Hayes had his own table there, but also this restaurant has children's books up front and he grabbed, appropriately, one all about Nami Island. Okay, well, Hayes is running around like crazy. I just wanted to note that they're like got this beautiful music playing everywhere. So not only is it beautiful surroundings and just like gorgeous to walk around, it's like all very calming as well, which I love, especially when being around with a toddler. I don't think it dawned on me that this is a theme park until literally we got here. Like I knew about it or whatever. I was thinking of it more just like a destination, like a private island. And then I was like, oh, it's a theme park. And we're not usually theme park people, but honestly, this is great because it's it's just like going to like a beautifully manicured park, island, anyway, with pumped in music, Pick it up, hey, which I just heard Pete talking about, and I wanted to jump in here and say that I think Whoa. I think it's very famous music from oh from that Winter Sonata, which is a very popular K-drama that we haven't seen. We actually haven't seen any K-dramas, which feels like a good time to thank today's video sponsor, Surfshark. It started raining. Surfshark is the VPN that we've been using for quite some time now. And if you're not familiar with the VPN, it stands for Virtual Private Network. Basically, it's a way of making everything you do on the internet private and secure. My favorite thing about Surfshark is you only need one membership for as many devices as you'd like. Between Pete and I, I think we have about Five, but you could even share it with friends and family. We are in our 15th country in a year and we access internet from all over the place. Hotels, cafes, airports. So knowing that we can check our bank accounts, which honestly is not so fun these days, safely is really important to us. Usually the example people here on YouTube give is that they're traveling but they want to access the US catalog of shows on Netflix, stuff like The Office, Friends, but we're thinking that when we finally want to catch up with some K-dramas like Winter Sonata, and maybe we're no longer in Korea, we could tell Surfshark to make the internet think that we are and hopefully find them that way. So if you'd like to give Surfshark a try, we'll put a link in the description box. You get 83% off, three months for free, and there's a risk-free 30-day back money guarantee. So thank you, Surfshark, and enjoy the rest of the video. We're going to hope that this rain stops and enjoy Nami Island, which Pete and Hayes seem to already be doing. Rain, rain, go away. Come in the red day. Little Hayes, want to play. Come in the red day. Okay, back by popular demand and actually someone in the comments in a recent video said they wanted to see me go down a slide in the next kids playground that we were at so here we go here we come whoa you ready whoa. <laughs> Steph might have already said this, but we've only been here a couple of hours and already there is just so much to do. Higher bikes, there's this like ride along bike thing on a track that seems to go around the forest area. I mean, you could spend a week here, let alone a night. I don't know what I expected. I knew it was like a private island. I think I thought it was just like private island slash park park, which honestly it's like less theme park, more like massive, beautiful, park but with restaurants and stuff. I don't know why this is such a hard concept for me to grasp. Nobody lives here. His is a big fan. What's in there? A booty. Yeah but what's inside it? It's a this big very tiny little bike in there. Okay let's go and have a look. Okay. Good job Hayes Cam. I know from other YouTube videos that this is a very popular, other YouTube videos and the fact that there's like a hundred bajillion bikes. 
right over there. But this is a popular destination for bike riding. And uh, we're here tomorrow too. I don't know what time we'll leave, but if the weather clears up and if it looks like they have like a toddler seat, I would love to ride one of these bikes. Oh, it looks like they have like quad bikes too. Pete, we should get a bike kind of thing tomorrow. He's not listening. What do you think it is? I mean, there's just like bunnies hopping around. What kind of magical place is this? Peacocks as well. I mean, this Where? island has it all in the little houses. They're just sheltering from the rain, I guess. Huh. Don't want to get their feathers wet. Metaculously kept as well. Metaculously? Metaculous, that's not the right word, is it? Um, Meticulously. Is that the right word? Yeah. It's just like magical kids world. I also, guys, we've been traveling so long and you know by now if you've been here a little while that I do not do an intense level of research, which I used to do. I didn't even think about like how kid friendly this would be. Like I knew it was gonna be like a nice, I just thought it was a place you came and you like biked around and you walked through that big famous path of trees, but it's like actually a designated UNICEF kid park thing. That was well said. I'm gonna put this away. It's the cutest sign for a nursing room that I've ever seen. The most adorable toilets I've ever seen. Super adorable stop sign. He's found another rabbit. There's a what? A whale? Yeah. You found a whale? No, that's a quill. Definitely. They're not pink. They're not pink, mommy. They're not pink? No. <laughs> because they're not flamingos. They're ostriches. No, they're flamingos. And you saw flamingos the other day at the zoo. I thought all ostriches were big. Are these babies or are these a special breed of ostriches? You know the answer. For anybody who's a Korean Englishman fan, this, not this exact one, but Gap Young, I believe, is where they came in the recent video with the high schoolers where they did like the water obstacle course thing. Very, That's all. Very funny. Go and check it out. Yeah, that whole series is wonderful. We didn't even know they existed before we were in Korea. And they have five million subscribers. If you want to help us catch up to their subscriber count, now's a good time to subscribe if you're not already. We appreciate you watching this video. Oh, here we go. Is that a thing that you do on Nami Island? Do we need to leave a Polaroid of ourselves somewhere? Do you have a Polaroid? No. Hayes was napping. Hey. Pete and I were chatting. I thought we were going to the hotel, but we're back where we started, uh, where the ferry comes. And we walked the whole island. And I spotted a lady holding an ice cream, so that's what we're gonna do next. Ooh, bubble tea too. That was lovely. I want to drop it. How do we ask nicely? Please. Mommy, <laughs> How did he do? Let us know how Hayes' uh, pronunciation is down below. Okay, quick update. We're at this beautiful cafe. I was telling Pete, I got, <laughs> this is a weird comparison, but we got like South Africa vibes. We spent a month in South Africa and we went to a lot of like vineyards and there was all these beautiful cafes surrounded by nature, very, very kid friendly. It was a wonderful month, like one of our favorite months this year. Anyway, I'm reminded of that here. Again, sort of a weird comparison. Anyway, we're not with Hayes because there's a, I'm gonna mess this all up too. There's a Finnish style school kind of childcare facility here called Hay Schools. It reminds me from what I've read and seen like a little bit like Montessori, I'm um, just very kid focused um, and beautiful. So anyway, the folks that are showing us around Nami Island invited Hayes to participate in a little class there. There's not any other kids, 
Um, but he's spending an hour and a half, I think there's actually three teachers there, so I think he has like three on one attention, but he's spending an hour and a half in the Hay School, and you could have told me we were in Scandinavia and I would have believed you. I asked the principal like why there's a Finnish school here on Nami Island, and she said that there's a lot of um, similarities between Finland and here, primarily nature, and perhaps, you know, style of education. I don't know. We've gone on and on on this channel and like how much we love South Korean kids cafes. And this is like, it's not a kids cafe, it's, it's different, but as far as facilities and toys to play with and kid focused, it is the most beautiful space we've seen. Um, just absolutely gorgeous. And Hayes ran in and couldn't wait to say goodbye to us. We were actually gonna stick around. We thought we didn't really know how it worked and they were like, no, parents aren't allowed. So we're at this cafe, we've ordered to craft beers that are a collaboration between Nami Island and a, a beer company and it's got like an ostrich on the front. Uh, and now we get an hour and a half while Hayes has the time of his life at the Hayes School. Very excited for this. It looks great. The artwork on this bottle is awesome as well. All right. Oh wow, that is awesome. It's got a real like craft beer taste to it. Which you used to not like, but now you're no, American. But, right, now I'm on board. But it's a lager, which I love. Um, yeah, it's excellent, really good. What do you think? What's your thoughts? My thoughts are that I thought I was going to spend an hour and a half running around chasing haze, and they told us we had to leave, and now I'm drinking a beer in a beautiful cafe. So, <laughs> in case this island couldn't get any better, it just did. Is this about... It's just a time where we tell people if you have toddlers or if you have kids and you're in Seoul, you live in Seoul or you come to visit Seoul, come to Nami Island because it's really cool and then drop the kids off at the kids in school because that's also really awesome and then come and have one of these delicious meals. got Hayes from the uh, kids club, the Hayes Schools Club, and as expected, he was hysterically crying. Uh, but now he's forgotten about that because he's chasing peacocks all over Nami Island. Good job we got nowhere to be, isn't it? It's going to take us an hour to get back. Yeah, we've literally been trying to get back from the restaurant, which is like just there, to the hotel, which is just there for like 15 minutes now. We actually ate dinner at the same place we had lunch because a lot of the places here especially I think midweek and not like prime season time close quite early. It's chasing rabbits now. We are back where we started. Can you see the stroller off in a distance over there? I don't think you can even see it. If anybody else watching has kids, do they have as much energy as my son? Whew. He didn't exactly go to sleep as planned last night. Kind of hitched a bit of a fit. We had to take away some marbles. Anyway, this is our room. room. Okay, nice, lovely, lovely, small, compact room here. Uh, we've got some beautiful artwork on the wall. This is where Hay slept. I think that's obviously very common here in Korea. They sleep on the floor. We slept in a bed. It's great though. Like. <laughs> More hotels should do this. I feel like at home, hotels make like a big deal about bringing you an extra bed and all this stuff, when in reality, like all you need is a pad and a blanket on the floor. Love it. Anyway. And then we got this lovely view here, overlooking the trees and the garden. Very nice. And then traditional sliding door. I love this is also something unique to this part of the world is taking your shoes off. Before you come in, which is great. Ow! Okay, are we done? Hey, should we go to breakfast? Okay, Stephanie just discovered on this jam, which has instructions 
how to use it. Me being me, I was just like gonna rip it off like you normally do. Anyway, you squeeze it together. Okay, someone hates this. And then it, it like comes out like that. And that's just like great application. I mean, why isn't the rest of the world making jam these little things like this? So clever. Well done, Korea. Keep going, keep going, keep going. I mean, who wants to be running at 9.30 in the morning when you just had breakfast? Said like rowing boats and ducks. Is it fun, Is it? It's a bit hard to see out of this swan boat. I know. But look how beautiful it is. It's a peaceful morning on the uh, you know what water this is. I don't, but it's very, it's beautiful. It's very shaded, which is nice. Um, yeah, my eye line is a little obscured. <laughs> There's lots of messages in here as well. We love Mongolia. Oh. Captain. Is it bad that my uh, legs are already tight? Yes. <laughs> okay, we're now on the sky bike. Stephanie hates these kind of things but Hayes really wanted to go on it with her, so she's put another brave face, but <laughs> she's not gonna be enjoying it at all. Not my thing. Some of the trees have started to change color. Apparently here it's supposed to be beautiful in like a month or two's time. So I can only imagine what the colors are like during the fall, because it's really gorgeous. Like we said yesterday, it's well worth a visit. Come and check it out. So we just did that sky train because Hay saw it and wanted to do it, and it was cool. I'm not great at heights, so it was a little freaky. We just saw these cars, which actually I wish we did this because look how cute this little sidecar is. That would be such a fun way to do a lap of the island. But we've already done a lap of the island, so I think we're just gonna play a bit more and then head back to Seoul. Blinding. So my sunglasses broke and I need to buy new ones. Woo! Whoa. But we're back in Gapyeong. No, I think we're in Chuncheong. I don't know where we are. We're not on Nami Island. And this parking lot was empty yesterday and look at it now. Today is a Friday. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so squinty. Today's a Friday um, and much better weather. So I guess that, well, I'm done saying what I need to say, but I guess Nami Island gets really busy on the weekends. Uh, and it wasn't that rainy yesterday. It was actually, I kind of liked it because it made it look like extra lush and green. Uh, but anyway, we're headed back to Seoul. Big thanks to the team at Nami Island as well. And thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. <laughs> Our next video is going to be from Jeju. You all told us to go to Jeju and we are headed there in two days. And we can't wait to make some videos there. So we hope that you will stay tuned. We appreciate you watching. See you in the next one. That was crazy. There's like a, um, what do you call it? Bungee jump? Uh, yeah, bungee jump. Bye! Bye.